Hi, this is the brand new DRM-1 MK4 analog drum synthesizer. Besides carefully improving the circuits, we have also worked on the instrument's connectivity. The newly designed power supply now allows for worldwide operation. Along with the MIDI connectors, we have added a USB port. This allows to connect directly to any computer without an extra MIDI interface. Another updated section are the optional trigger inputs, which are now dynamic. This way, velocity sensitivity is provided also when controlling the instrument from devices generating trigger signals or similar, such as step sequencers, LFOs, clock dividers and multipliers, or stepped random voltages. Signals presented to the trigger inputs will also be converted into MIDI note events and transmitted via the MIDI out port of the DRM-1. Now let's get to the point of this video and have a look at how we can achieve dynamic triggering. First I will connect one trigger input to my modular system. Also make sure the machine is powered up and connected to speakers. Let's first check a rather static method to create a dynamic trigger signal. Therefore I mix two different trigger signals coming off the random rhythm sequencer simply at different volumes and ready I am. Another method is to take a trigger signal and modulate its amplitude using a VCA. In this example we used a quadrupole because of its four channel architecture it will provide resources to even create a more complex velocity pattern. Here we have a slow modulation. Let me speed it up a little. Now let's add a secondary control voltage to it. And then use the mix of both to control the VCA again. And here we are. That was it on dynamic triggering. I hope you liked the video and found it informative. See you next time.